Terrific. Awesome for tuning in. What are the most important things that you can consider when choosing the perfect monitor for you? Guys, awesome. Today we're going to look at the ASOS ProArt Display Series. And I have this uh, very amazingly designed display from the Professional Series for you here as an example. There are a few things that you have to really consider when purchasing a display. Recently, I made a small mistake. I purchased a Lenovo display and uh, there you couldn't uh, height adjust the display. So the monitor stand looked very uh, nicely designed, but it did lack that feature. Here with the ASUS, you definitely can height adjust this. So that's one uh, important thing that you can consider when purchasing a display, pay attention to that. And then the other things, that are important considerations. Let's say you want to use this for Windows or for Mac are also the inputs that the display has. This is a very exceptional display, guys. I have tested a lot of other displays on my channel and not all the displays have all the inputs. This is very nice. It has Thunderbolt and has a huge uh, range of connect connectivity. So I think this uh, has a little bit of a premium price point, but really good image quality and connectability. That's why I consider uh, recommend you to check this out. Let's just unbox it and I walk you through the most important things that this display has. Jumping right into the unboxing, uh, one thing you can consider is if you're a Mac user, this display actually has Thunderbolt, which I think is very nice. Plus it has a good color calibration and performance and comes with uh, HDR and is an IPS panel, uh, which I always like a lot. But first, let's have a quick look inside the box and assemble the display for you guys. And as you know from my other videos, this is packaged slightly different than most of the other monitors that I have reviewed. And with this monitor, everything is very nicely packaged. You can see the monitor arm here, which has a really good design, uh, cover to uh, cover the cables, a calibration sheet, uh, recommendation how you can connect to the monitor and assemble everything power cord here to route the cable to keep everything neat and organized and then also very nice you have all the cables a display port where I will connect my uh, computer then you have HDMI maybe you want to use it for with a streaming box like an Apple TV or an Amazon Fire then this is very very nicely relevant for Apple users if you have maybe the uh, Mac notebook, M1 chip, these, these new Apple M1 devices. Uh, you can use this with Thunderbolt, which is very nice, or also the older ones, which I'm also gonna show you in a second. But first, let's quickly put the display on the desk. Uh, you see this very nicely made monitor arm. Uh, take the panel, put it on the desk. Obviously in the manual, it's described slightly different, but I'm doing this a lot, so I'm familiar. That's my preferred method, taking this out like this and then walking from behind to the monitor stand because you see there's this uh, small metal latch up there and you can align this very carefully and clip it into place. I think this is a very convenient method to assemble the display, put uh, off the foil and ready, we are ready to go. Excellent, and one key thing that you can consider uh, besides the size, the 27 inch, is also the aspect ratio. This is a 16 by nine aspect ratio, as you can see here in the side card. Uh, that is uh, the most uh, popular, I think, 27 inch, 16 by nine, but obviously I also have reviewed 21 by nine on my channel, like this LG, for example. And as you can see, that's much wider. You have them as curved or as flat ultra wides and uh, these uh, bigger displays or wider displays, I should say, uh, compared to the ASUS here, they would offer you some extra space at the side. However, I found that as you can see uh, below, for most people, the normal 16 by nine is perfectly fine. The 21 by nine is more of an extra case. For example, if you're a gamer or you need this extra space at the sides for productivity use for most users, this is perfect. And next up, also important, which is very easily missed by a lot of consumers, is the panel type that the monitor is actually using. So you should really pay attention. For example, if you're a gamer, then this Twisted Pneumatic is for gamers, usually very interesting because Twisted Pneumatic panels are very fast panels usually. The VA alignment is for contrast. Some people, they need or want a really good contrast. Then the vertical, vertical alignment VA panel can be interesting. But for most people, I always would recommend the IPS panel because it has a good uh, best color representation in my opinion and also a good uh, stability 
from the viewing angle, which is something where the other two panel types sometimes are a little bit lacking. So this is an IPS panel with the ASUS Pro Art, and that's why I like this a lot. Then also interesting is always the monitor settings. This display has a, a little bit interesting menu here. You have like a controller knob and some buttons. So why don't we just switch over, for example, because this was also one of the key benefits that this display has, this monitor has, is it has a lot of inputs. Five total, three HDMI, DisplayPort and Thunderbolt. This is quite unique. Not all the displays have, for example, Thunderbolt. Not all the displays. Some displays, they only have one HDMI and one DisplayPort, but this has five inputs and that, as you can see right here, really lends itself to using the ASUS Pro Art with multiple input sources. Uh, as you can see, you can also connect uh, various other devices, like for example, this streaming box, and then your monitor can double as a TV if you want to have some entertainment every now and then. And uh, also uh, it has an audio output. So you could, for example, connect that to your speakers and then route, route the audio through the monitor. So this is very nice. I really like this display. Good colors, HDR, IPS panel. And let's jump to the conclusion. Excellent. And what's my conclusion to this professional monitor from ASUS, the PA27A? I like this display a lot because it has really crisp uh, colors, as you can see here. I also love it because it has such a insane connectability. It has a total of five inputs. Uh, three HDMI, uh, DisplayPort, and even a Thunderbolt, which makes it very nicely suitable, for example, for Mac users, but as well as Windows users. Then another cool thing about this display is the monitor stand, which is a good quality, solid build and height adjustable. Also a small side note that sometimes there are displays that are not height adjustable, as well as sometimes there are displays that have significantly less inputs. And that's something you can also pay attention to when looking for the best possible monitor. And this is 27 inch, uh, 16 by nine, which I think is the best middle ground from a size standpoint and from an aspect ratio standpoint. So this was the summary and conclusion. I also invite you to head over to my channel page, which I'm gonna to show to you here. There you can find a useful playlist called Computer Monitors, where I have actually compared many different monitors, uh, many different brands, the Japanese brands, the South Korean brands, and then Asus, which is uh, uh, from Taiwan, if I'm not mistaken. And guys, awesome for tuning in. Please leave a comment what other displays you want to see. I encourage you to subscribe. I see you in the next video. Take care. And because you just watched my review, you can also be interested in comparing it, for example, against this curved LG monitor, which uh, I tested for video editing and what, uh, what proved to be especially useful for gaming. You see how much more space it provides to you, this massive 21 by 9 inch curved monitor versus the classical 16 by 9 24 inch in full HD. So guys, this was a mouthful. I see you as a subscriber and in the next video, all the best to you. Take care.